Hi, this is Kerry Artek with Wicked Stocks bringing you the daily Tesla report for Thursday, December 8th, 2022. Testing long-term support, continued testing of long-term support. We've fallen back uh, this zone on the weekly chart, which you can see here in the support resistance between the wide 167.28 and 175.39 region, about $8 wide. We dipped into it on Wednesday actually tested that long-term Fibonacci level on the weekly chart against the March 2020 COVID low and the more recent all-time high from last November, 5 eighths back, 172.94. We slipped below it just a bit, three quarters of a point, not quite, um, and uh, came off of it very modestly. So we are in the zone. This is still able to contain longer term selling pressures and above which uh, this market can stabilize as it has been uh, you know, over the last week or so and actually turn higher. The next significant buy signal would be above this 199.83 level, which is a combination descending one third speed line projected off the August high and a channel top that includes trade off that early earlier October low. Before I jump into the charts, before I jump into the charts, I've already jumped into the charts. Before I go any further, I just want to encourage you to please click like if you haven't already. It helps us out a great deal in being found on uh, you know the Wicked Sox YouTube channel. That includes the daily Apple and daily Tesla report. And subscribe if you would. If you haven't subscribed yet, you may want to. You'll be provided notification each and every time new content has been uploaded, which includes the daily Tesla and daily Apple report, along with other uh, videos that we put out throughout the week. Um, and finally, if you would pass the information along, the videos on to friends and colleagues, that would also be much appreciated. Anyway, in this chart, you can see the horizontal lines are representing those long-term channel bottoms on the weekly chart between 167.28 and 175.39. We are in that zone right now. This is an area that can contain selling, as I say, on a longer-term basis through December, even through Q1. And our next clear go with buy signal to the upside would be a settlement above 199.83, an area that is very likely out of reach today and more than likely through the rest of the week. Now, as far as the day goes, I've got, um, where are you? I've got 181.37. This former two-week channel top has actually performed decently, actually on Tuesday's high, contained it very well, it's dropping, is only intraday. In other words, it can contain intraday buying pressures and from there we can fall back into this zone of long-term support between 167.28 and 175.39. But pushing or opening above 181.37 would allow, I almost want to say signal, it would be a decent rally, but I think it is quite possible if we push above 181.37, 188.72 and reach 188.72 is a 5 eighths upside Fibonacci over the last five days. That is last week's high against uh, Wednesday's low. So 5 eighths back up, 188.72, and that may be about it for the day. And once again, I don't expect to see 188.72 unless we push above 181.37. For those of you who are aggressive day traders, you could trade the 175.39 resistance down to 167.28 uh, back and forth uh, throughout the day. If we push or open above 175.39, you could play the long side up to 181.37. From there, liquidate longs, play the short side perhaps into later day. If we push above 181.37, once again, 188.72 is in reach. So watch out for the short cover blast to the upside if we happen to push or open today above 181.37. Now, as far as the downside goes, um, I really need to see how this fleshes out tomorrow, Friday, last day of the week. This weekly chart will settle out tomorrow. And if below the 167.28 formation by a 1% margin, which would be a Friday settlement of 165.61 or lower, this market remains weak as we move through the rest of December and into January. And I would expect as our next objective uh, this series of channel support that is presently between 112.91 and 124.61. But as I've been mentioning, if you're a long-term Tesla investor or trader, if you, if you hold for longer-term positions, I think you can um, play the short side below 167.28 on a longer-term basis because I think as this thing continues to drop significantly by the middle of next year, it actually lines up with 23.36. I could see bottoming out in the 110s. 
um, within a month or two of closing below 167.28, then back into the 160s, 170s resistance, and then back down again. I could see that sort of scenario playing out. Um, I'm not going to go there too much. I just know that if we do close this week, Friday, below 167.28 by a 1% margin, this market remains heavy into later Q1. Until then, this is bottom picking territory. And I'll finish with this idea that if by the end of next week, we happen to settle above this 199.83 area, then we've got the 240s and dropping as our next objective, 242.85. This is something I've been saying now for the last week or so. This 242.85 is actually in reach over the next couple of months, holding above this 167.28 to 175.39 area. But if we were to close sooner than later, above 199.83, we just might reach 242.85 or this new speed line uh, by the end of December, where we could top out through January and if settled above, would set off yet another meaningful long-term buy signal. And that is all I have to say for, please click like <laughs> and subscribe. I forgot that. Um, and that is all I have to say, actually, for Thursday's Daily Tesla Report. I'll be back tomorrow with Fridays, and you have a great evening.